Hey there, how you doing? Today we're gonna to have a look at how to build this grid zoom while scrolling interaction in Webflow. You can see we have nine grid items and we're scrolling through. And as we get to the bottom, we have some text pop up and the middle image is zoomed in fully. So let's go ahead and build this in Webflow and get started. Hey there, Webbay. All right, so to get started, we'll drop in a div here called height. And now height is just going to be the item that sets how much room we have to scroll. It has a width of 100% and a height of 400 dynamic viewport heights. Within height, we want to make another div called sticky. Sticky has display flex, center, center, with a width of 100%, a height of 100 dynamic viewport heights, overflow set to hidden, and position sticky with the top set to zero. Now we can see that as we scroll through our height div, our sticky div is sticking within the viewport there. Within sticky, we're going to want to create our layout, and now this layout is called grid. And let's have a look at what grid has for styling. It's display grid, and it has a gap of five viewport widths and row gap of five viewport heights. And then we have three columns and three rows, and the width and height are set to 100% with position set to relative on this grid. Now within grid, we drop our first grid item. Grid item has a width of 30 viewport widths and a height of 30 viewport heights with overflow set to hidden because inside that we're gonna place our image that scales up. Position is set to relative as well, because if we look at image, this has position absolute, so it needs to be relative to that grid item div. Set to uh, cover the full thing here with fit set to cover, width 100% and height 100%. Now, if you'll notice, because this is a nine item grid and we have our width of each grid item set to 30 viewport widths and height set to 30 viewport heights, it's important that our grid here has that gap of five viewport widths and five viewport heights. If we take 30 plus 30 plus 30 equals 90, plus five equals 95, plus another five equals 100. So we're just making sure that we're a full 100 viewport widths and a full 100 viewport heights. And then notice also that these are all set to auto. By default, Webflow sets your column as one FR, but we wanna set that to auto. So now we'll just go about adding all of our items. So we're just adding all of our grid items until we get nine of them there. So now our grid is all set up to go, but we also wanna add our text that pops up at the end. So as a child to our grid element, we're going to create text wrap. And text wrap is a div with position absolute set to cover the full screen. So you can see it's covering everything and I can't click the images. If I wanted to edit those images later, I'd probably just set this to display hidden. And now I can go ahead and, and change these or select them in the navigator. Anyways, we want this to be display flex. Anyways, we have this wrapper div set to display flex. And then within that, we have our text with a max width of 52 rem and just some text styling down here. So our page setup is all good. Now we can start our interaction. The interaction is going to live on this height div. So let's go ahead and into our interactions pane. We'll create an element trigger while scrolling in view. And we're gonna start an action, play scroll animation. Now let's go ahead and create a new scroll animation. And we'll call this zoom in on scroll. So let's start with our images there. We want these to scale from a value of one to two. So at 0%, I'm going to set image scale, and I want this to affect the class, and I'm going to give it an initial value of one here and a final value of two. So let's go ahead and turn live preview on and see what we start getting. So we can see these are growing, but we also want the wrapper div to grow. Next, I wanna select my grid item here, and I'm going to start from 0% with a size of 30 viewport width and 30 viewport height. And we're going to go ahead and animate that. Oops, I can't get the bottom there. So let's duplicate it and drag it down. We're gonna animate this to 100 viewport widths and 100 viewport height so it takes up the whole screen. So let's go ahead and see what this gives us. Now we can see everything is growing and we've turned on overflow hidden so we're not getting any scroll but we want that middle image to be the one that blows up, right? So we can just translate our whole grid here. So I'll go ahead and grab the grid and we'll set move, we'll start it from zero viewport widths and zero viewport heights. And we'll go ahead and translate it to a move value of negative 105 viewport widths and negative 105 viewport heights. It's just to account for that gutter of five viewport heights. And now if I live preview and I see as I scroll from zero up to 100, that middle div is almost taking up the whole thing. But I can't scroll all the way to the bottom here because I'm only at 83% of the height container. So I need to come into the animation boundaries here. And I want this animation to end when the item is fully invisible, but I need to add an offset of 30% here. So now if I come back into the zoom in on scroll animation, and let's see, yep, start zooming and we'll start at 0%. 
Now, when I get to 100%, pretty much we're at the bottom here. You could fine tune this uh, maybe just a little less, like 25%. So let's go ahead and go in there. And change that and come back in. And now we start scrolling and we see we're at 100% right when the scroll bar is at the bottom here. I'm looking at this scroll bar and this green tag right here. So we've got the basics of our animation down. If I click done and preview, we can see that everything's looking good. And right when we're finished, we're right down there. So let's take care of the text last. I'm going to go into our animation here and we'll take text wrap. And since this is a sibling to grid, we don't have to worry about all that funky stuff we did with grid on the viewport widths and viewport heights. We can just take text wrap and at 0%, we want to move this down 100%, so it's going to go its full div, which is, again, the full screen here. And we're going to, let's say at 80%, we also want to move that and make sure it's still at 100% because we want this to come in later, right? And then lastly, at 100%, we want to move this to uh, 0% so that it's back up. And the other thing we should do to make this text a little bit more visible is we can select all of our images. So I'll select one here and make sure that we're selecting our class, which we are. And I'm just going to animate the filter and we'll look at the brightness and we'll go from a value of 100% all the way down to a filter brightness of something like 60%. So that image is darker and the text is going to have more contrast. So I save and now let's preview. Oh, I screwed up something with the filter. So let's come back in and see what we did. Image filter. Oops, I did 1,005%. We just want 100%. And now let's preview and we come down and we see everything zooming in and that brightness going down. And then right near as we get to the bottom, our text is coming up. We could probably have that come up earlier, but I think you get the picture. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do this cool scroll interaction. Now, if you like this video, YouTube is going to wreck another video that you could probably watch. I have a lot of these really advanced animations that I think you might enjoy to level up your Webflow skills. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.